Hello, potential new pack member. This is Samantha, your future dog trainer. I'm here to walk you through the consultation request process. We've partnered with Paw Partner for our online system. This is where you'll do all your booking, scheduling updates, and messaging. I'm going to walk you through the computer version, but there is also an app to download. They have both iPhone and Android options. Starting with your profile, we're going to go ahead and click sign up via Paw Partner. That brings you to this page. Add your email address. This will be your username. Fill out your password. Fight with your Apple computer. This agreement is for using the Paw Partner system. Fill out your basic information. For the street address, this is your physical address. We will use this for your in-home lessons. If you do have a mailing address, you can add that here in addition to your emergency contact. Your emergency contact cannot be you. It does need to be somebody else. And add their phone number so that we have a way to reach them. This section is for your dog. We do have some breed restrictions that may crop come up. Add your dog's accurate birthday or gotcha day if they're a rescue. That way we can celebrate it with you. Altered is for your spay and neuter status. This is for your primary veterinarian. And the important notes are any allergies, medicines, anything of note for this particular pet. If you have more than one pet, go ahead and add another one now. We're going to continue with our reservation process by adding a photo to your account. We're going to click on your part here, add a picture. This does not have to be a picture of you. It can be a picture of anything. Generally, something cute of our little furry friends. Save changes. And then we'll head back to the account page. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and schedule the consultation. If I make a reservation, training, you'll pick your dog, consultation, and now the available times will be offered. You can click any of the green squares. When it comes to times, please avoid booking the 4 p.m. We do reserve that for other lessons only. It will pop up on the calendar when you've added your time. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the vaccinations for your dog. We do require three different types of vaccinations, distemper, parvo, and rabies. Most often, the first two are found in a combo vaccination of one of these names. We don't recommend combo vaccinations, so that's why we do list them separately. The dates that you're going to add here are for the expirations of these. So you click on over to somewhere in the future that it pulls up on your records. Add that date here. I have found that it does not appreciate being typed in, but instead by clicking on this calendar you'll get better results. Add those three dates, then you're going to upload a copy of that from your vet. So here's where I found those dates in the first place. They're added, it turned green, save. And that warning pop-up is going to go away and it's not going to come back until any of those are expired. Next we're going to sign a contract. This is your typical sign your life away situation. Uh, to work with anybody these days, got to do our diligence. Our biggest notable pieces here are going to be the cancellation policy of 48 hours, our no refund policy. We do fund our nonprofit via our services. 
We are also very aware of the weather. We live in a mountain climate and we do our best to make sure everyone is being safe and we're having productive days. I'm actually filming this on a snow day where we had to rearrange the schedule. And then there's a few other items that have note for specific things. Read through it all. Down at the bottom, you'll add a scribble. And now we may continue. This is where you're going to find the questions that go to this dog. If you've selected both of your dogs for your consultation, you'll have your first one listed and their questions, and below them the next one and their questions. In filling out the questions, go ahead and be specific as far as how you found us. If a friend told you, let us know who it was, so that way we can thank them. On the reason for joining us, let us know what the behaviors are. Are you dealing with barking? jumping, simply want a good dog, anything that's pertinent to your training venture, we would love to hear about it here. Where did you get your dog from? Being specific once again. At what age did you get your dog? We do take puppies as young as eight weeks old. For spaying and neutering, we do still recommend between 6 and 12 months based on behavior. For emergency vet, this is not the same as your regular vet. Uh, these are specific for emergency situations. We can't get a hold of you. We can't get a hold of your emergency contact. We must take your dog to the vet. Which one of these vets do we have permission to take your dog to? You can be specific. Or you can type in any. For the emergency budget, again, you can be specific with the dollar amount, or you may put no limit. If you have insurance, that is another note that can go here easily. For feeding, let us know what brand and what flavor. We do recommend variety, so if there's several, go ahead and fill it out there too. For me, I'm going to do raw and it is handmade. If you use a treatment for bugs, put that there. The note for trainer is a section that is going to pop up on any of your training reservations. Uh, it's notes for your lessons, things that are going on. You're welcome to put things there for the consultation as well, but it is not needed. Save and continue. Your reservation is going to come in at $40 for our consultation. And that's it. You're ready to go. It's going to show up as pending. We'll go review the whole uh, reservation and make sure everything looks good and confirm it or send out a message if there's something missing. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope it helped and we'll be seeing you soon.